What is up guys? I'm Daddy Gamer Fred back again with another trailer reaction review. Today we're going to be taking a look at something that's very dear to me. We're going to be unleashing the motherfucking dragon. We're going to be watching the Spyro the Dragon reveal trailer and I am so motherfucking hyped for this. I was so hyped when we got word that Crash Bandicoot was getting that remake and one of the first things that I thought of when I seen a Crash Bandicoot when I played Crash Bandicoot Remastered and I was like where is the fucking Spyro Trilogy Remastered? We need it. And those prayers have been answered. Now, this is going to be the PS4 trailer. It's also announced for the Xbox One. But what it's not announced for is the Nintendo Switch, which seems a little bit out of place. But, you know, Nintendo being Nintendo with a couple of, you know, leakers or whatever people digging around, they found out that... It is actually up on the UK site. There's a listing for it, but it was also taken down. So my theory about that is that they want to say that for a reveal, maybe at E3, maybe at the next Nintendo Direct, they squeeze it in there as an update. And I think that will be massive if it does come to the Nintendo Switch. I personally want it on the Nintendo Switch. I could play it at home, play it on the TV, and then when I want to have it as a handheld, I can play it as a handheld. I want my games like that. To me, it just makes sense. Especially for a game like Spyro, where you're going to be, you know, leaving it kind of idle as you collect certain items and stuff like that, or, you know, play around with it and then stop and play around with it and stop. That's how I consume my Switch games anyway, and I think Spyro would fit perfectly for that. Let's jump into the trailer and check out the in, not that I keep saying the insane trilogy, but the insane trilogy for Spyro. So let's let's check it out. And I'm kind of kind of scared. I'm kind of scared. I'm kind of scared and hype. I'm I'm I, I'm scared. I'm scared. Let's do this. Let's do this. Yes. Yes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Oh, he looks so good. Oh. Oh. Oh, look at the grass burn. Oh, the gliding is so... Oh. Oh, look at the grass. That art style, though. September. Holy shit. Holy shit. Let's throw that back. Let me turn off the sound. A five. A five. A five. I have to give it a five. I have to give it a five. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Look at this shit. Oh my god. Let's let's slow down the speed real quick. Oh my god. Oh shit. Yes. Yes. Oh my god. Like this is crazy though. This is crazy. This is crazy. Look, they fucking redid the fucking little monsters. What the fuck? They look like little tiny fucking dots of sheep before. Like, oh my God, you clearly couldn't tell what the fuck they were. But now you can tell. That shit is crazy, my Gs. This shit looks nuts. Look, his son looked like a wizard. He looked like a wizard, though. Like, now he's a wizard hatter. <laughs> All scaled up. What? Oh my god. Oh, and the effects with the clock. Oh my god. Like right here, when he burns, you see the shadow of the fire, the fire burning the grass. Come back to Earth. Come back to Earth. This is amazing. This is a fucking amazing. Oh my god, and him burning the sheep. Oh, the gems. I can't, what I want to hear, I want to hear the sounds of the gems being collected. Oh my god. And we're getting all three games. These games are massively long. Oh my god. We're getting all three games. I feel like these games are fuller than Crash. Even though Crash does have tons of levels and tons of secrets, this being a 3D, this is a different type of game. This is, and it's crazy that they did all of this. Wow. 
to think that they had to have been working on this at the same time as crafts. They had to. It would have taken them way longer to cook up this just after what they did with Crash. From my experiences anyway. I don't, I don't know. I'm not a game de designer. But Jesus Christ, Activision. Oh my God. And this is what? The, who's doing this? This is what? Some of the new developer there. It says for toys. Tots for toys or whatever. Oh my God. Oh my God. The dragon has been saved, guys. It has been saved. Our answers have come true. <sighs> I'm loving it. I'm loving this redesign of him. He, he, he looks more cartoonish. To me anyway, it looks like they're taking a creative spin on the art, but at the same time, trying to stay true to what the game looked like in the past. And it, you know, they have to give it this facelift. Just like giving Spyro the eyebrows, you know, the fur, fur K brows or whatever the case may be. I feel like they're doing the same with this. The thing that I'm scared about is how the grass looks. The grass looks brevy, very Breath of the Wild-ish. Not to say that the grass in Breath of the Wild is a bad thing. And hell, that's probably a compliment to some people. But it, it looks very cartoonish while Spyro doesn't look like he fits that art style of the cartoonish, if that makes any sense. He still looks cartoonish, but uh, you don't, uh, you probably don't understand what I'm trying to get at. But it's like, it's, it looks like one different art style with another different art style clashing. Now that's maybe just because this is early footage and uh, you know, this is what they got out for the reveal trailer at time. And it probably is gonna get an update or look even better. But as long as it feels and plays like fucking Spiral, I'm down, I'm down, I'm sold. Let me know what you think about this trailer in the comment section below. Like always, guys, I'm Daddy Gamer Fred on Instagram and Twitter. I'm the American Gamer in Switzerland right here on YouTube. And yes, I'm going to be doing a ton of these trailer reaction reviews. If you enjoy it, please hit that like button. Hit, please hit subscribe if you want to see more. Actually, hit, hit subscribe and hit the bell if you want to see more because YouTube being YouTube is like, no, no. If you hit subscribe, that doesn't mean you want to watch the videos. That means you want to subscribe. But if you want to watch the videos, you got to ring the bell, apparently. Whatever that's supposed to mean. But make sure you ring the bell as well. And I'm excited. I'm excited. I'm excited. Hopefully it comes. I'm. Um, hopefully it comes to the Switch. Can you announce it for the Switch, Nintendo? Hello? Hello, Nintendo. Can you announce it for the Nintendo Switch? I would like to play it on the go everywhere I go. Scared that if I get it on the PS4, it's going to come to the Switch like a month later or a year later, like Crash. But <sighs> let me know your thoughts on that in the comment section below. Like always, guys, peace. I'm going to see you guys on the next trailer reaction review.